Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a styling tips video. Today it's all about the classic spring trench coat. My trench coat is officially out for this spring season and I couldn't be more excited about wearing and styling it for springtime. Honestly, it's a piece that I'm actually really excited about. Also, if you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you come across, then hello. My name is Patricia. I upload videos twice weekly here on my YouTube channel, usually fashion related videos. So these styling tips, how to style videos, outfits ideas as well, and just loads basically. And now as we are going into to springtime I'm doing lots of declutters as well so I've got my wardrobe switchover coming out I've done a makeup declutter like my full collection makeup declutter and there's so much more coming up so if that's your kind of thing and if you would like to see more from me then I would absolutely love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel it's completely free to do so and it just means that you will stay up to date with my upcoming videos so please do subscribe if you're not already subscribed and as usual a PowerPoint at the ready so I've got my styling tips ready and waiting to go. Styling tip number one is to style with jeans. This to me seems like a fail safe to be honest. It's like duh of course you can style with jeans. For me jeans are an integral part within my wardrobe. They're honestly classics. I wear my jeans throughout the whole year literally every single season so naturally styling with jeans is a great way to start wearing your trench coat particularly for the colder days. So for outfit number Number one I have the classic style trench coat this is the one that you're gonna see the most from me it's probably the one that I wear the most I mean you just can't go wrong with a classic trench like this one can you so I'm wearing my trench coat with a classic white t-shirt and blue jeans I mean name a more staple combo I don't know if there is one this to me is a perfect spring outfit it's so easy it's perfect for literally anything whether you're running errands whether it's a chilled weekend whether you're like meeting up with your friends or going out for brunch or something like this I just think this outfit embodies spring so perfectly for this look I have paired it with some slightly dressier accessories so I have a basket slash wicker style bag this is a crossbody style it was quite popular a few years ago which is when this picture was taken but still really love my straw bags now so it's definitely a classic and something I can't wait to bring out throughout the springtime as well and then I've paired this with some really beautiful like houndstooth heels so this is my take on spring outfit number one with a trench coat the second outfit that I wanted to share is a somewhat more transitional one so this would be great if you are moving from summer to autumn for example but also great for like right now where we're moving from the cold winter days into slightly warmer spring days here I have a more fun trench coat it's a bit more of a like quirky take on one it's actually a leopard print one I absolutely love leopard print and I recently shared styling tips for leopard print as well so I will leave that video linked for you so that you can check that out along with the rest of my styling tips videos as well but here really quite simply the outfit is just all black I've got a black cable knit jumper on a pair of black jeans and then some black ankle boots and I just wanted to show you the difference between the two outfits so outfit number one very spring lots of light layers pieces but outfit number two this one you can see that the layering items that I have here are definitely chunkier and bigger items so more wintry items I suppose so don't think that a trench coat can solely be used on like those warm spring days I know sometimes those are hard to find here in the UK so you can even pair your trench coat with thicker items like a cable knit jumper a pair of jeans and some ankle boots and I still think it looks really chic in my opinion a trench coat is an item that just styles so so well throughout the seasons. Styling tip number two is to style with matching trousers. This is a fairly new thing for me actually but I noticed that I have like more than one outfit where I've actually done this so I thought hang on that seems like a styling tip in itself. So for outfit number one I have on the classic style trench coat paired with a really basic top basically it's just a white basic top and then my camel toned trousers these are high waisted they've also got a bit of a like ribbon or like belt for the waistband in the same material as the trousers and I think that looks really nice and as you can see the trousers and the trench coat are 
almost the same colour, which I really like. It's actually something that I realised I do more often than I noticed. Like, I feel like I do it a bit subconsciously. So that's why I actually wanted to share it as a tip for you. If ever you've shied away from wearing two similar coloured items that aren't actually a suit, then this is hopefully your sign to do so. I actually mentioned in a recent video that I think that pairing like two similar colours with a coat and trousers or in this case trousers and a trench coat I think it looks like a cool like updated take on a suit which is quite fun so this was the outfit and shoes I haven't mentioned the shoes here I'm wearing ankle boots once again these are my snake print ankle boots which as this is quite a neutral outfit I think going for a print like snake print which is still in those neutral tones like the brown sort of tones but it works really nicely with a neutral outfit like this one Outfit number two you may have seen fairly recently here on my YouTube. This was actually an outfit that I featured in my How to Style Trousers, which was a very recent upload. I will leave that video linked for you as well. But here we have the trench coat, the same trench coat actually, paired with a brown top. This one's got quite like sweetheart neckline, which I think is really beautiful, really flattering for this time of year. Then I have a pair of high-waisted trousers again in a camel tone, which is really similar to the tone of the trench coat so there you have the matching trousers scenario and then here oh my gosh this was also unintentional and I've only just realized the shoes that I've gone for here are also animal print instead of snake print this time they are leopard print so maybe that should have been another tip as well to style trench coats with animal print that's not a tip I have here but there you go little bonus tip for you and I just like how this looks this I did mention within that video that I thought it would be quite a nice one for like going out or like brunch with the girls or like drink something like that I thought it'd be quite a cute outfit for that kind of thing styling tip number three is to style with trainers of course I had to mention trainers I love me my converse and I love my Vasia trainers those are probably the ones that I get the most wear out of but funnily enough here I have more like sporty kind of trainers which I thought I would share because as I mentioned I wear my converse my Vasia trainers really frequently but actually like trainers like these not so much so I thought it was nice to be able to share that you can style them really nicely with more traditional pieces within your wardrobe as well like a trench coat so outfit number one I have the classic trench coat once again a white t-shirt blue jeans we've seen this outfit before a little bit of deja vu for you and then I have a pair of red trainers this is going to come up a little bit later as well so do bear that in mind but I loved how the red really popped with a trench coat and something quite classic like a white t-shirt blue jeans adding a pair of bright colored trainers I think is a really nice way to just elevate that look a little bit more but it's still perfect for whether you're running errands or just doing something really casual basically it's still a really casual outfit it's just got a more fun element thanks to the bright red trainers for outfit number two I actually have a different trench coat here this is a light pink one and I actually think a light pink trench coat is a really great item to have within your wardrobe particularly if you like your colors I think light pink is a really beautiful way to wear and style trench coats it's a really beautiful color basically perfect for spring as well because we all love our pastel tones throughout the springtime so this one is pastel pink I'm wearing a white t-shirt and blue jeans once again and then my trainers here I've kept them more classic they are a chunky white style trainer which matches perfectly with the simplicity of the white t-shirt and the blue jeans and then I suppose in this case you've got a bit of color by adding your pink trench coat you could go for a classic color trench coat here as well I think it would look equally as good it would look really timeless if you ask me so that's also another idea but I like the pink Styling tip number four is to wear all white. I have a checked trench coat here paired with a white jumper, white jeans, and then those chunky white trainers again. So mixing my styling tips here. But I really like how the white looks with the trench coat. And actually, I think an all white outfit is probably the nicest with a trench coat. There's just something about it. I think it's the neutral vibes. I really do love a neutral outfit. I think it's timeless. I think it's classic. 
classic and it works for so many different occasions if you ask me so that's what I absolutely love about the simplicity of an all white outfit and this one is one that's more suited for the transitional season because I have the lightweight knit and then jeans there which are perfect as slightly heavier layers so perfect to transition and then outfit number two is a little more summery so I've got on the classic colors trench coat here the classic camel color I've got on a white or off-white I should say crop top square neckline love this crop top so much I think it's beautiful and I've paired it with some high-waisted trousers these are also white or off-white and they just paired so beautifully together I've gone for some sandals here these are like heeled strappy kind of sandals they look so beautiful in my opinion this is a beautiful outfit for a day out with the girls if you're going brunching or something like that it's a really cute look it works so beautifully with the classic colors trench coat as well but I do also think you could go for any color trench coat here it would work amazingly well because naturally an all white outfit you really can't go too wrong if you ask me and I love how the white pops with the neutral tone of like a camel trench coat I just really like this as I said it's the neutral vibes I really like my neutral outfits Styling tip number five is to style with red. This is a tip that I was hinting at earlier. So first up for this first outfit, I have a red trench coat. Once again, changing things up with a trench coat here and going for a red style. I think that although red is quite a bright color, in my opinion, it really is really wearable and really versatile. So it's something that I really love to include within my outfits and why not include it within a trench coat? I styled this trench coat with a button down white top. This is a really beautiful top actually. It's got like puff sleeves and all that going on. I know you can't see it under the trench coat, but trust me, it's a really beautiful one. I have then got on a standard pair of high-waisted blue jeans and then leopard print ankle boots, which you know already, I love with my trench coats as well. It's a very simple outfit. I mean, all of these outfits I think you can see are very simple and I think that's a great thing about a trench coat. You could honestly be wearing the most basic outfit, but pop on your trench coat over the top and it's instantly elevated for spring. I love it. Outfit number two, I have a classic colored trench coat here. Then I've got a white wraparound style top white top blue jeans we've done it again then blue jeans here high waisted and here the pop of red is with my shoes oh my gosh how much I wish I had these shoes in my collection still I cannot tell you I got rid of these a while ago now and I just I need a replacement for them I really really am on the hunt for a pair of red shoes I think that's like top of my spring wish list I have to be honest so hopefully I will find the perfect red shoes this spring but for now I can live vicariously through these old photos but I love these I think they look really nice it's a really simple outfit again the trench coat and the red shoes just look really nice together onto the final outfit within this category I've got the classic colored trench coat again here I'm wearing a t-shirt it's a nude colored t-shirt and then it's got like that linear artwork which was really popular a few years ago actually Actually, and I don't know how well you can tell but on this t-shirt it's actually got outlined lips and these lips are in red as well so kind of like wearing red lipstick so that's the first hint of red within this look then I styled these with a pair of white trousers two-tone loafers very designer-esque but I think they look really nice here and then the major pop of red is with my bag so this bag just adds a really bright colorful element of fun I always say that outfits are fun and I know some people are like no way but I really think that an outfit can really have elements of fun and like be a fun outfit so I really do love using fun as a describing word for outfits even though it might not make that much sense but hopefully you know what I'm saying so yeah I think this is a really nice way to just add a pop of red to any outfit really it doesn't necessarily have to be one with a trench coat but as I was saying throughout this video and throughout this tip I really think that red and a trench coat pair together really beautifully styling tip number six is to style with mini dresses I really really love wearing dresses in the springtime and I am so 
excited about bringing out the dresses honestly and I have to say I personally prefer a midi length dress to a mini length dress and the reason being is that I'm quite tall and sometimes particularly in the city particularly in London and day to day I don't feel as comfortable or confident wearing mini dresses to be honest with you I just think it's one of those like sad things I suppose but one of the ways that I find myself feeling a bit more confident with a mini dress for example is by pairing that with a trench coat. It can be really difficult to find the perfect outerwear layer in the springtime because you can't wear anything too heavy, you can't wear anything that's too warm basically and so I think that a trench coat is the perfect layering piece because it can be quite a lightweight one. You can get super lightweight trench coats which essentially just I don't know they just like offer a bit more coverage I guess like they cover you up a little bit more which for me personally I really appreciate with something like a trench coat so for outfit number one I have the classic colored trench coat paired with a leopard print mini dress and then some black espadrille wedges love my espadrille wedges as well cannot wait to bring them out for spring summer this year but I really like how the outfit looks it's really summery because of the espadrilles and of course the mini dress but then you just have like that extra layer which I think the like the subtlety of the trench coat over the top I think makes all of the difference with this outfit and the same goes with the second outfit once again I have a gorgeous mini dress under here this one is sunshine yellow button down and I really love how yellow and trench coats look together as well I think it's really bright and just really like refreshing for spring and summertime so I absolutely loved this little combination and then for my shoes I have some leopard print shoes as well Adding a little bit of print through my shoes yet again. Styling tip number seven is to style with middies. We've gone through the minis, time for the midi lengths now. I think you need to be a little more oh, cautious, I think sounds a bit too extreme, but just take more consideration when you are playing around with different lengths, like pairing a midi length with a classic trench coat because you want to make sure that the lengths aren't too dissimilar. You want either your midi dress to pop out a little bit more so that you've got like a couple of inches on show or you want it to be slightly shorter than your trench coat for example I wouldn't wear a maxi length dress with a trench coat for example because I just think that in terms of the length it doesn't quite work and you can end up looking a little bit frumpy a little bit shorter and I just don't think it's the most flattering to be honest so I would always either go for a mini length or a midi length so for my outfit here I've got a classic coloured trench coat paired with a leopard print midi dress this time I've just realized I showed you a leopard print midi dress now I'm onto a leopard print midi dress now but I've got on the midi dress and then a pair of Vasia trainers I love these just like a classic outfit if you ask me a really nice spring outfit in my opinion hopefully you can see what I meant as well in terms of the lengths within this outfit so the midi dress yes it's slightly longer than the trench coat but not ridiculously longer like there's still a little bit of leg there it sort of breaks up the separate sections within this outfit which looks much better in my opinion. Styling tip number eight is to belt it. I don't know about you but often I just like forget that I can actually like belt my coats and belt my jackets, belt my trench coats so I wanted to include it as its own little styling tip because it can really transform your outfit. It can literally be the outfit. So here we have an outfit that I actually wore to one of my last ever London Fashion Weeks and I've got on a trench coat and then all you can see peeking through is in fact my neck top which I was wearing here I was actually wearing like a mini dress underneath but you can't see that because I decided to belt the coat instead so you can just see my roll neck peeking through and then I went for knee-high boots here so there's still a little bit of leg on show again which I previously mentioned and I just think it looks quite nice like it's just it makes an outfit a little different it makes it a bit more interesting as well if you are unsure about the outfit underneath if you're not quite sure you've hit the nail on the head you just cover it up belt up your jacket nobody knows what you're wearing underneath and I really like that so that's outfit number one outfit number two leaves a little bit less to the imagination here I've got on a black roll neck top and then a classic pair of trousers I actually think this is a really nice look for an office for example like workwear style I think this would make quite a nice outfit 
outfit. It's another one that's quite well suited for the transitional time of year if you are transitioning between winter style into lighter layers for springtime. I think this is a really nice outfit to do so. And then I don't think I mentioned my footwear here yet. Here I'm wearing some open back mules. That's exactly what mules are. Here I'm wearing a pair of heeled mules in black as well. So in keeping with the kind of workwear theme. And to finish things off, styling tip number nine is to choose a cropped trench coat. These aren't as popular as the classic style trench coats, but I did want to share with you that there are other options out there. And so far this spring, I have already seen quite a few people styling the cropped trench coat. So I have a feeling that it's going to be quite big for this springtime. So for outfit number one, I'm wearing one of my classic outfits here. I've got on white t-shirt, blue high-waisted pair of denim jeans, and then my red shoes here. So you've seen basically a variation of this outfit already, but here, rather than pairing it with a long line trench coat, I've paired it with a more cropped trench coat, which I think gives the same effect. It's got that same sort of impact. I still think it looks really chic, and I think it's a really nice way to elevate your look for spring, whether it be with a classic trench coat or something cropped like this one. And for my second outfit, cropped trench coat yet again, this time with an all white outfit underneath. I've got on a white jumper paired with white jeans and then a pair of ankle boots. So this is a more transitional style of dressing here. So the lightweight knits with the jeans, the boots, and still it looks equally as good with a cropped style trench coat. If you ask me, I think a cropped trench coat does the exact same thing as a more long line trench coat. It really is just down to you and personal preference or if you've already got a classic trench coat but you want something a little bit different for the springtime then choose a cropped trench coat it's the same sort of vibes you can style it in the exact same ways that you would style a more classic length and I still think it looks really good it's still a great layering option for springtime so there you have it my trench coats styling tips for springtime. I hope you're as excited as I am for spring fashion and spring styling. I am just over the moon for the warmer weather and just so excited about it. So let me know in the comments down below actually if you have any requests or suggestions for upcoming videos for the springtime. I have quite a few videos in mind and planned already. So yeah, if there's anything else you would like to see, please leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to get that out for you. A very big thank you for watching today. Today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my styling tips series, my how to style series. I have loads and loads and loads of videos there. So definitely check out that video if you want some more styling inspiration. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also thumbs up for more styling tips videos as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Instagram as well. I am at Peekso on Instagram and I share loads of like daily outfits and styling reels, like basically loads more fashion over there. So if you want more from me, then do head over to my Instagram as well. A very big thank you for watching today's video as always. I hope you'll be back for my next one and I will see you all soon. Bye!